Good morning, Ohio. It's James Lewis of This Dream House, the show that's all about the house. Starring with us today is Emily Cleese of Tops. Emily, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me on today. I'm excited. Why do people love to collect cards? <laughs> well, I, I think that um, humans just kind of inherently like collecting things. And so it's the same reason, you know, why you wear your favorite player or, or team jersey to a game, right? It just kind of brings you closer to the action, brings you closer to your favorite players, your favorite teams. And collecting cards is a great way to do that as well. And, it, you know, brings you closer to maybe you, you hit that autograph card of your favorite player or you get the team card card in our opening day set i mean there's so many different factors to, to card collecting but at the end of the day it just brings you closer to what you like i know what you mean it really makes you feel connected like for example uh we're in the cincinnati market and i, I got i remember i mean it's probably one of my most fondest memories me and my dad sitting down uh opening up boxes or uh, packs of cards and getting the barry lark in 19 <laughs> really feeling that connection with Barry Larkin. Uh, later on uh, that year, ended up going to a charity event uh, they did for the um, Salvation Army and uh, bringing the card with me and him signing it and all, and just really nice moment and getting to, to talk with him about uh, the Salvation Army and how they, how they give back. Oh, man, how cool is that? It was awesome. That's great. And that's one of the things I love about cards, because it, like, it, like you said, I mean, it just gives you that connection. It makes you feel uh, closer uh, to the players and, and more invested in their success as well. Mm -hmm. You bet. You bet. I mean, there's nothing like, you know, owning the moment where Pete Alonso becomes, you know, crushes the home run record, and all of a sudden, he, you know, he's, of course, going to go on to be rookie of the year, but there's nothing like owning that moment and feeling the closest to the game, feeling the closest to the player and just yeah it's, it's it's almost more experiential than anything right and, and just being able to open up a pack of cards maybe not knowing what's going to be inside and boom you hit your favorite player team superstar you name it character from star wars i mean tops is um you know they, they have so many different properties that they work with which i think is the cool thing too is is tops is not just baseball cards but it's sports it's entertainment it's ufc and and champions league and like i mentioned star wars i mean there's so many ways to collect and there's so many things that people like and tops uh, i think and of course I'm a, I'm a bit biased here james but i think that tops just does a really good job about bringing the fan closer to the action and closer to their favorite movie their favorite character their favorite player whatever it be um you know top just does a good job documenting that and i think that's kind of why people resonate with it exactly and i agree with you that not knowing factor as well i was going to say that has gotten so popular and so uh so enjoyed that video games are basically mm -hmm. stealing it not just the sports games, because obviously Madden and 2K, they have packs of cards that you open to get more players. But sure. even the different other games where you open packs or open something similar and you get, depends on what uh, weapon you get in the video games and different things mm -hmm. like that, they all are starting to embrace the authority, the, uh, the, uh, the anticipation that uh, opening cards gives you. Um, and in their games, I think that's totally. Yeah, yeah, it's it's that surprise factor, and and that's why I say it. it, it Tops is almost it's experiential more than anything. I mean, sure, at, you know, at the end of the day, you're opening up the pack, you're owning w what you collect, and you're owning those cards, but there's almost nothing like the feeling right before the pack even opens that you just, you don't know what's going to be in there, and, and yeah, it's exciting, and, and like I said, people resonate with it. People want to feel that feeling. It's, it's just an exciting thing, and I think that's why card collecting brings so many people joy. So why is collecting cards such a part of American history? Well, let's see. That's a great question. And of course, baseball is America's pastime, right? And Tops is so synonymous with baseball. I mean, in 52, we pretty much created, you know, 
the modern era of card collecting began. We created that first set with the team logos and, you know, those those simulated player autographs, the stats on the back. I mean, kind of baseball cards as we know them today. And so I think because of that deep-rooted history where Tops has just been around since, since the beginning of it, in a sense, um, that's why... Uh, collecting is popular that's why tops is popular um and they've innovated over the years um making cards they're they're no longer just you know a two and a half by three and a half a piece of cardboard it's it's kind of grown into these chrome cards and these acetate cards and the technology i think has grown with it as well so um tops is even though it's, it's an old and a deep rooted company it's always kind of ever evolving and it's kept up with the collector interest Awesome. And then you alluded to this earlier uh, about Tops Now. What is that? Yeah, top, Tops Now is fun, James. It is. Um, I think it's awesome. It's basically a program we run where we take the biggest moments that happen um, in the game, at you know, at the match, what have you, and we create them into cards for collecting. And then those cards are sold the following day, right after the moment happens, and they're sold for uh, 24 hours exclusively on the Tops.com site. And once the print run or once those 24 hours is is up. Uh, they're never printed again, which I think is cool because it makes that moment extremely collectible. So, you know, for example, the Fiend defeating uh, Daniel Bryan at Survivor Series or Howie Kendrick's Grand Slam in the World Series, and those those cool collectible moments where, you know, you think, hey, I was there, or, hey, that's, you know, my favorite superstar, and he did this, and, and um, you know, it makes it fun to own because you're just, like I, like I said before, you're just closer to the action. You feel greater connection to that moment. Exactly, and then like you said, the exclusivity of the cards is just so remarkable because, uh, you know, there's other companies out there that would just keep printing and printing and printing the dang thing over and over again. But the next <laughs> thing is, you know, shoot, only uh, so many of those are available, which makes it extra special. Yeah, yeah, you bet, absolutely. On your website, is it possible to shop by team? Like, I'm a big Reds fan, so I'm always looking for Reds paraphernalia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you bet. We um, we do have a shop by team section on the site. And, uh, yeah, we, we always have cool stuff popping up on the site, um, you know, especially right now as we're in the thick of the whole Cyber Monday and the holiday gift giving. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we have everything from cards to posters to memorabilia. And, uh, yeah, you can definitely shop by team. So you mentioned there are different leagues and there are different pop cultural phenomenons that you uh, offer. Uh, I know it's a long list, but if you could uh, <laughs> indulge us. Yeah, of course. Um, it is a long list, which is fun. I, there's kind of something for everyone here at Tops, but you know, of course, MLB is what what people have known us for. But uh, we get into other sports like UFC and, uh, like I mentioned, Champions League. We have all facets of entertainment from Star Wars to WWE to Stranger Things cards and then of course a couple of our own brands like Garbage Pail Kids which is actually coming up on its 35th anniversary this year in, in 2020 we have um, you know our Garbage Pail Kids, Mars Attacks uh, yeah lots of fun stuff and uh, something for everyone for sure that is so cool that is what I love about Tops is like you said I mean there is such so many uh, different options so like you said I mean not you know not everybody is going to be a garbage uh, baseball fan, but you know, garbage pail kids is something unique that uh, is exclusive to Tops, and and then of course, like you said, wrestling and UFC, and I mean, just so many neat options. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and and the cards are so different too, and I think the cards themselves, and this is more of a testament to, to our designers and our brand team, but they really reflect what the brand is, and um, you know, you have that iconic look for a baseball card, which is totally different from that look of a UFC card, you know, and, and so, um, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, it's really cool to, to see the guys here every day work on the various properties, and the, like you said, the list is long, but there, there's something forever want to collect does tops do other sports memorabilia other than just you know their iconic cards yes yeah we do we have our whole line of tops authentics is what we call it and um tops authentics is everything from hats to uh 
baseball bats to jerseys to official photos. Um, you know, there, there's everything that, that you can collect. And I believe they all have um, a hologram on them so you can know that, A, it's, you know, it's an officially licensed and officially autographed piece of uh, memorabilia. You can track where, where it came from. And this also extends to our Star Wars Authentics line, too. So, um, you know, f- official photos of the entire Star Wars franchise, autographed, you name it. Um, yeah, Tops, Tops also has th- those memorabilia outside of uh, trading cards. I was going to say, with my voice being the way it is, I'm sure a lot of my listeners are thinking I have a guest host today, but this will let them know that it's definitely me, because uh, with custom cards, <laughs> I'm a big fan of that, because I uh, you've worked with many arena teams, and to be able to make our own cards for the team is just so remarkable. Or, you know, if you're on a youth team, or you're on a rec league, But uh, we were uh, semi-professional, actually, no, a professional team, and uh, we were uh, playing arena ball, and and just they come making our own tops cards. (laughs) Feel so legit. Oh man, I'm gonna have to collect your card, James. Oh, definitely. (laughs) That's cool. Yeah, the the custom cards are fun. I mean. First and foremost, who doesn't want to be on their own card, right? Like, it's just, it's a cool thing. And to be able to put yourself or your team or your family, I mean, we have so many, um, even, you know, for Father's Day, we have so many people that make a card for their dad. And and now with the holidays, it's, you know, putting your family on, on a card. It's a lot of fun. I, I always make them for my kickball team. I have, I'm a part of a kickball league. Oh, cool. uh, and so I always make, we have a team card every year. And uh, I always make them on the custom cards. I mean, it's, it's fun. It's fun to have. Nice. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, it's a new way of doing Christmas cards. Cause, uh, yeah. <laughs> Quite literally, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, how did you become partners with WWE? That's a great question. The, the logistics of the partnership, I don't know if I can comment too much on, just because I don't know too much about. Um, but uh, I know that we do have a great relationship with WWE. Um, and, and what's cool about WWE is they're expanding so much right now. I mean, from being on you know Fox Sports and uh, NXT becoming more of a force. Uh, it's cool because Tops is not only just created cards for superstars that are in WWE, but it's kind of found this way of documenting the journey that WWE is taking through trading cards. Um, You know, we have our Road to WrestleMania set, for example, and that kind of pulls out all the highlights leading up to WrestleMania. So um, those cards are cool because it's almost more of a narrative than anything, and you just collect WWE as it's evolving. Exactly. That is the great thing about their organization. They're always evolving. They're always changing. They're always doing something new for their fans. And that is so cool. And But one of the things that they have been doing a long time for their fans is partner up with Tops. I mean, I remember my uh, Hulk Hogan cards from back in the day. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And now my little guy who's a fan, you know, is, uh, like you said, got The Fiend, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Mm -hmm. and of course, uh, my wife's favorite, John Cena, so. Of course, of course. Yeah, she's a, she's a big fan of his. There you go. Uh, So, why do the Money in the Bank cards come in a briefcase? Well, it, that's a great question. A, a bit on the nose, right? I mean, from the Money in the Bank briefcase uh, being suspended over the ring during the pay-per-view to the actual trading cards coming in a briefcase. I mean, it's like, it's so cool. I, I they, you know, they came out not too long ago, and I was just crazy about the briefcase idea. And, uh, yeah, I think the team did a, did a really nice job with those as well. And it's, it's fun. You have your own little briefcase, and instead of a, con- a Money in the bank contract inside there's some trading cards exactly i agree with you i mean it is just like you said it, it just takes it to the next level it makes it so, feel more interactive and, mm-hmm. oh definitely to be able to uh you know to be a part of it so sure so who is your favorite wwe superstar oh you're really you're really hitting me with the heavy questions here today I asked the tough ones. <laughs> that's loaded but um I, I think uh, I think Alexa Bliss is always going to be a favorite of mine. Um, I'll, I'll admit that I am a 
five foot nothing, so the uh, five feet of fury kind of resonates with me. Um, but I will say that I have a lot of respect for Daniel Bryan because not only is he did he have this incredible comeback story, but he's a champion. But he's also kind of a journeyman, and so you know a lot of a lot of wrestlers when they have their shining moments, it's against Daniel Bryan, and I respect the fact that um, you know he's the guy that they can kind of launch off of while also being a champion. I agree with you. I mean, he has had a stellar career, and then yeah, being able to come back from that injury because we all thought he was done. I mean, yeah, I mean, it yep. was just out there that he was uh, retiring, and then unfor- or unfortunately had to retire, but fortunately it worked out, and that time off has uh, really benefited him. Yeah, and he's had just such a fun comeback. I mean, they've done so many different kinds of things with his character, and uh, yeah, he's he's fun to watch and just a really good staple of WWE, I think. So with uh, Alexa and Daniel Bryant, obviously uh, there's probably some cool special edition cards, autograph cards, or relic cards out there for you know all the different WWE wrestlers. Yeah, you bet. I, I we have um, so many autographs of various, you know, WWE superstars. Uh, we have relic cards that might contain a piece of their shirt or some other relic. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. And and I think even you mentioned the Money in the Bank that that briefcase box. I think that alone uh, guaranteed a couple of autographs in there and maybe another hit. So yeah, it's, it's fun stuff to collect. And you know, like we like we were saying before, when you don't know. What it's going to be in there and then all of a sudden you're pulling out an autograph of your favorite superstar i mean it's there's nothing better <laughs> exactly and then uh the uh, women wrestlers they had a really not in the uh, money in the bank but in, over the years they've had a really unique uh card they had a kiss card basically <laughs> You bet, you bet. We have the kiss card. It's, it's ever popular. Um, it, and they actually were included in a WWE NXT, which is a product that was just released this past week. And so, uh, yeah, you can find kiss cards in our NXT uh, product as well. That is awesome. Because yeah, you read my mind. That was my next question. It was like, so what stuff is coming out? What stuff should we be looking forward to in 2020? Yeah, definitely. So, so the the NXT product kind of wraps up 2019 for us from WWE, and then uh, looking into 2020, of course, there's like I mentioned that Road to WrestleMania set, and I think that typically comes out um, leading up to WrestleMania. That would make sense. Uh, and and it, like I said, it documents the the literal Road to WrestleMania, all the highlights and the moments and uh, the superstars that kind of make WrestleMania the premier event. That it is uh so that's always a good one and then um yeah i, I think that uh, you're gonna be i won't let on too much but i think that collectors are, are gonna be really excited for some of the stuff we have coming up in 2020 and uh like we said before wwe is an evolving brand and i think that tops is um you know trying its best to evolve with it and create new types of sets and new types of products for collectors to uh, get their hands on so it, it should be a really fun year this year I, i'm excited Sounds awesome. So yeah. where is the best place to buy Tops cards? Sure. So you can always head to Tops.com. Uh, that has our uh, full selection on there. Uh, your local hobby shop is, of course, uh, the best place to go for all those hobby boxes. And uh, oftentimes products pop up in Target and Walmart, so we do have some retail as well. Awesome. And then before I let you go, where on social media, where on the web can they check out? I mean, obviously the main website, but where on social media is a good place to check out Tops? Yeah, you bet. Uh, at Tops, we make it nice and easy for you. We're, we're at Tops on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So, um, yeah, thank you. Please, please go give us a follow and, and stay in touch and see what Tops is up to throughout the year. That is awesome. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. I greatly appreciate having you on the show today. It's been a lot of fun. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate you having me on and uh, hope to come back soon. Sounds great.